Channel 9 Eyewitness News this morning. Coverage you can count on. It was very scary. It's probably one of the most scariest things I've ever been involved with. This morning, people in the Panhandle are cleaning up from the damage from yesterday's tornadoes. What the National Weather Service will be doing today to learn more about these storms. And we are finally in the clear. We are tracking drier, quieter, and cooler conditions for Central Florida. I'll be taking you hour by hour through your Wednesday forecast coming up. Plus a live look inside Orlando International where planes were grounded for at least five hours because of yesterday's storms. Just ahead, how people who were stuck there during a tornado warning dealt with that ground stop. Six o'clock on this Wednesday, January 10th. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kirsten Delgado. And I'm Alexa Lorenzo. We are much calmer this morning than we were going into yesterday, Cassie. Yeah, absolutely. And if we take a look around not just Florida, around the southeast, but a big portion of the country, major impacts from this storm system. A whole lot of snow for the upper Midwest, the north and east. Hour through the day today, we're looking at highs only in the 60s. I'll take you through your forecasted high temperatures coming up in just a bit. 601 is now your time. We'll get a check of the roads with Alexa. We start with a crash on the turnpike. This is moving southbound right here near State Road 429. We have a number of Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Lawmakers in Tallahassee are considering two new bills to help protect the identity of crime victims in Florida. The Florida Supreme Court ruled that a constitutional amendment known as Marcy's Law does not prevent crime victims information. A long-term spending plan. NASA will delay a crewed mission around the moon by nearly a year. We told you this was coming time for the design of the next generation spacesuit. Happening today, a piece of Orlando history will return to its original location. Crews will activate the spire on the plaza. The plaza's restoration is funded by Orange County's tourist development tax. 5.39 on this Wednesday morning, getting a check of your weather and traffic every 10 minutes. And as we take you outside early this morning, drop low. Say their water isn't safe to drink or cook with. Coming up, the multi-million dollar fix that's now in the works. Plus, how you may be able to save some money on our toll roads this year, even though state lawmakers haven't extended last year's savings program. And a man became his own detective after he became a crime victim. Next, the technology that helped him track down his stolen trailer in Orlando. It's 541. Past customers can now get a discount on all expressways owned by CFX. Drivers who use at least 40 tolls each month will get a 20% discount. Meanwhile, those who use 80 tolls a month can get a 25% discount. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's going to get even colder tonight. We've kind of had a little bit of a warm up. I mean, yesterday was so warm. We yeah, had 80 some spots. But we're going to do this. Rain chance, yeah. temperatures, everything. <laughs> She's looking at me like, girl, you're confusing me. <laughs> no, it's just I don't want we're the up and down. The I place. would like something just pleasant. At a mobile home park in North Carolina. Right now, Orlando police are still searching for whoever killed this man. It's been three days since 35-year-old. Exactly, Alexa. Friends and family say Terry was enjoying a night out downtown when his decision to get into his car in this parking garage ended with him being shot and then crashing his car. Live this morning, Fox 30 Action News Jax begins with first alert weather. All right, let's give you a live look right now at Panama City Beach, where there has been a confirmed tornado. Everyone to Action News Jax this morning, your time 8 o'clock on this first alert weather day. I'm Phil Amato. And I'm Chandler Morgan. And maybe you're waking up with the kids this morning due to those school closures. We are tracking all yeah. of those impacts for you. We're also tracking your weather and your traffic. We have Maritza Ross with us here as well. But let's get you right over to the First Alert Weather Center, where First Alert Meteorologist Garrett Beanbaugh has been busy all morning long. Yeah, tornado watch uh, hoisted this morning, expanded to the east, really, from Ware County and Lake City. We gave you that first alert moments after it was issued. We'll bring you some drive times coming up in the next 10 minutes. That's the latest from the Safe Touch Security First Alert Traffic Center. Now the good news at this hour, no power outages right now in our area, but JEA has been busy. Our linemen have been busy planning and trying to plan ahead to keep you safe. Yeah, this is their time to shine, right? Action News Jack's Alexis Clevenger reports from the JEA yard off Emerson Street that crew spent most of yesterday preparing to address the severe weather expected to hit our area today. JEA expects that some people may experience power outages with the severe weather headed our way. And in that case, they say the crew. That's not going to happen today, though. St. John's County schools will release an hour early today. 
Both the University of North Florida and Jacksonville University canceled classes today. City of Jacksonville government offices are also closed. Today's city council meeting, by the way, moved to 5 p.m. tomorrow. So, our, so for more closings, a full list is for you on actionnewsjax.com. And due to the weather, St. John's County will not collect yard waste today. Garbage and recycling collection services started at 5 a.m. The county asked residents to secure or bring inside trash and recycling bins as soon as possible. They're expecting widespread power outages all across our area. They ready to respond? Phil Chandler, they are ready to go. They tell me that they have crews staged at both their south side and west side service centers and the trucks are fully stocked and they are event of outages. Please be assured that getting power back on for everyone will be JEA's number one priority. We will work as quickly as safely per, as safety permits to restore power. Damage reports across the panhandle from potential tornadoes this morning. And here back at home, a tornado watch for Ware and Columbia counties this morning. We are tracking it for you on your first alert weather day. I'm Chandler Morgan. And I'm Phil Amato. Thanks so much for joining us. We have team coverage for you this morning, bringing you everything you need to know on this first alert weather day. First alert meteorologist Garrett Biedenbaugh tracking the wind gusts and rain. Maritza Ross tracking the roads for us. But we start with Garrett, that red kind of slowly coming our way. Right? Yeah. Yeah, tornado watch. We told you about it moments after it was issued here and expanded to the east for Columbia. So there's the timing winds, lightning, heavy rains, even the potential for a little small hail, though that's a lower end threat and an isolated tornado possible with the potential for some power outages with all of the wind even before she's now working at the Fort Lauderdale law firm. Her father started nearly 50 years ago. Your time right now, 649. I'm Chandler Morgan. We are tracking impacts on this first alert weather day for you. First alert meteorologist Garrett Biedenbaugh has been talking about the wind associated with this system he's been tracking. And I've been keeping an eye on power outages really across the country for you here. But we can obviously see where the bulk of them in the face. This morning, a North Carolina bookstore is working to send thousands of books removed from Duval County classrooms back to Florida. <laughs> This news things are much more calm out there this morning, but it is still pretty breezy to start the day. We're tracking what's left of that wind and then looking down the road, the next storm threat by the end of the week. Take a look at this fast moving flood water swept a car down Briar Creek. The quick actions witnesses took to rescue that driver. A Concord man will get $25 million after serving 44 years in prison for a crime he didn't commit. You can't put a price on 44 years, three months, and 17 days. What Ronnie Long is getting in addition to that massive settlement. I'm in the studio's 5 a.m. continues right now. Good Wednesday morning to you. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Denise Brew. And I'm Damani Lewis. Time right now. We're coming up 1 to 530. Already off to a very busy start. Plenty of schools are dealing with delays and closures this morning. We have a running severe weather alert coming into the end of the week here. But this weekend looks pleasant. Sunshine, but chilly upper 40s for high temperatures and it does look like even deeper chill could be coming our way by the middle of next week. It's 520 and the severe storms yesterday are still impacting flights in and out of Charlotte Douglas today. In our next half hour, we'll talk to one international passenger who had to stay in the area overnight. Plus, you may be entitled to money if you think it says it's not issuing a recall. It's 523. More than 1 million students have applied for federal aid to help pay for college next year. It's been just over a week since a new version of coverage this morning to get you ready for the day ahead. Channel 9's Amelia White and Gina Esposito join us with the impacts of those severe storms and heavy rain we experienced. Yeah, before we get to their live reports, let's go and get a look at that forecast of meteorologist Keith Monday. Keith, the rain is gone, but still breezy out there this morning. Yeah, a little bit of breeze still kicking in, guys, but at least that will relax as we head our way through the rest of the day today. So we're watching for the high water spots that are still left over. Mark will talk more about this in a moment. We've seen some big issues still lingering, but it's still breezy. Winds are still gusty early. Yeah, Danae, we know East Charlotte really got the brunt of yesterday's storm. In 30 minutes, I'm going to walk you through other areas on this side of town that flooded. I'm reporting live in East Charlotte, Amelia White, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. That video is just incredible. Okay, thank you, Amelia. We'll see you in 30 minutes.
Well, the same storm system caused tragedy for community in Catawba County. Channel 9's Gina Esposito continues our team coverage this morning in studio with what we know about a possible tornado there. Good morning, Gina. And Damani, take a look at the devastating damage here in Claremont. You can see where roofs were ripped off some of the mobile homes in the area.